same yeah, song comes on. They start it, dancing. Kind of and then it's just like they start making out. And then, one yeah, one thing leads to another. And they're in bed. And she's just like, do you have protection? And he said, yeah. And he's got one in his wallet. And I guess he puts it on wrong or something because she's well, like... Well, I think it's because it's like it's old, right? It could be that. it's like it's been in my wallet for six months. Yeah, but condoms last for like two years. I guess. It well, depends on how long Slim had it because Slim yeah, gave it to him. So yeah, who exactly. knows? exactly. He might. Um, but he's just like, he puts it on and she's like, is that what it's supposed to look like? Which I'm guessing means it doesn't look right. Um, he's, he's like, like I, I guess. Yeah. And then the, the funniest part of the whole thing is she's like, you know, as as ni- as calm as possible. She's like in the bed and whatever. I'm guessing taking her clothes off, whatever doesn't even take his shoes off which is hilarious to me and like that shows so much symbolism of the high school sex right there yep um so he tries to and then of course the whole you have to do it every single time of like ow wait he goes what come on she goes not there oh right sorry yeah um has to be done it's a comedy you have to do it and then snap yep it breaks and he's like oh you know that thing i put on me it it's gone it broke and he's like, well, we don't need that. Yes, we do. Oh, shit. Okay, well, Stacy has him in his top drawer. I'm not Go going get to him. He's like, I'm not going. She's like, it's fine. He's not here. Okay. So you've wanted, I mean, it, I, I think he even mentions, like, a, a horny a horny teenager will do anything. And this is literally the epitome of it. So he goes into fucking Stacy's room, goes into one top drawer, goes into the second drawer of the nightstand and finds it. I'm like, top drawer? She's lying. But he finds one. And then... Stacy and random girl number 23 shows up. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Although I think she is his girlfriend. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> um, So he hides under the bed. And they and Stacy and the girl start fooling around. And she's, like, doing whatever she's doing. And then she goes for the condom and one's missing. And loses her shit. So she's like, I counted. You had four. Yeah. You now, had three where'd now. one go? And he's like, I don't know what the hell you're talking about. My guess is he didn't. And then she's no, no, like, because yeah. he did have four. No, but, but he Mike took but, one. But guys don't count them. Right. One, as I'm saying, so he's just like, what? And then she, of course, says the line. I'm like, again, this is a this is a fairly common joke, but I like it. Where he just sort of go, where she just sort of goes. So who's the hoe you're fucking? He's like, I ain't fucking any hoe but you. So now I'm a hoe. You're an idiot. Yep. Um, no, baby, please. Baby, and then he's please. literally running down the stairs with his pants around his ankles. Baby, no, baby, please. All that and, stuff. And then they run out, and so exits one of the greatest characters in cinema history. Yeah. Um, and then, uh, so he gets it, and he goes in, and she goes, what happened? He's like, it's fine. It's cool. And she, I got it. He got it. And she's like, well, I guess it was meant to be. And then they have the briefest of sex, because it's two virgins having sex, and pump, that lasts about pump, that pump, quick. Done. To be fair, he lasted longer than I would have expected. Yeah. You know. And I love that he's like, he's got the big smile on yeah, his face. Like, ah. And she's just like, so, so that's <laughs> it, huh? And he goes, yep. And and I wish I wish she had just sort of go, no, really, is that it? But I'm like, oh, wait, teenagers aren't going to do that. Yeah. So. But I love it just like, you would think she's disappointed, but she's like, okay, well, I guess we're dating now. Yeah. So she's got a boyfriend, and, he's, and she says, like, I guess we're going to homecoming down. And he goes, yeah, I guess so. To be fair, that's the nicest thing he said so far in this whole scenario. Yeah. So she's like, "You better get a suit," because he he was talking about not buying a new suit. So, and that's kind of. There's one more flashback, and that's the end of that. Yeah, it's, it, we kind of spend the rest of the film with the adult versions, where they get to the wedding, mm-hmm. they're in their suits, and then yeah, so everything's the, good, the and then bride they go is up. Pissed. Yeah, <laughs> so finally, like the bride's there, she won't open the door for my or row. So Mike goes in and is just like, look, you know, he he's here. Everything's kind of cool, whatever. And then he hands her a uh, concert ticket. Yeah, because, Rose like, give her this, give yeah, her this. give her this. And this then will work. He hands her a concert ticket and then she's like, has an emotional reaction. Like, oh my God, I can't believe you saved it. And he's like, yeah, we were talking about one because Slim goes in eventually too. And it's just like, and they're just like, um, you know, Slim and Roe were staring at you, both drooling. Slim was the only one who had the balls to go up to you. And she goes, what did he say? And he said, this is my friend Roland. And it's like, okay, whatever. I'm, I'll, I'll take it. Meanwhile, her father has is, is got <laughs> Roe's head up against the door. Bang! It's just Smack. Like, like just holding it there. He's yeah. just like, hey, baby, I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> And then eventually, he's pissed too because yeah. he's like, "Where have you been all this, day? Do you know how much this cost me, motherfucker?" Yeah. And then, uh, so t- I like how they do this because this is absolutely the right thing to do. So Mike and Ro leave, or Slim, I should say, walk out, and it's just sort of like looking at him, like mm, shaking her head, like, 
you fucked up this time. And Slim does the same thing and they walk down. And just as Slim's about to leave the frame, he just goes, oh, it's on. <laughs> <laughs> like the moms are angry yeah. too. They're like, where have you been all day? Mm-hmm. All like all three of you. It's like, well, Mike's like, I'm not even getting, why am I in trouble? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> And like I think it was I th- I think it was uh, Rose mom who was just like so and he's like it's I took care of it yeah you know and like everything's cool so they get married Alicia's you know. there Alicia yeah he finally sees Alicia so it's like oh look at that Alicia's finally showed up and then of course it's the usual romantic comedy trope of like they're talking about like marriage and like that they look at each other like oh lovey dovey yeah. eyes whatever. And, they uh, have their best man speech. Yeah, best man, I guess. Mm-hmm. And this is where you know, this is where Mike's like, I'd never had a home before. And then they close up on his mom of like, mm, you know, um, which I think is a good shot. And then yeah, it's a nice button to it. Yeah, and then it's just like, yeah, it's it's uh, them talking about the friends that they have and everything like that. And then he, <clears throat> after that, he finally talks to Alicia. Yep. And um, it's just more along the lines of like, you know, I want to let let's have a dance, whatever, and you know. They sort well, of reminisce a bit. Well, yeah. Um, takes like, well, how's New York? Mm-hmm. And, oh, it's cold, but you know, I'm getting yeah. used to it. And, mm-hmm. and then it, it, the basic ending is that he like basically agrees that he's going to go to New York. I think so. Either? I think like, it's like, I like think that it's... they imply that like yeah. they're going to get back together. He's going to just he's going to finally leave. Like he's comfortable. Like yeah. well, if Rose going to leave. Mm-hmm. Because hey, I'm sure him and Lisa aren't going to live in the wood up forever. Exactly. He's like, so, well, if he's ready to leave, I'm ready to leave. Well, no, him and Lisa are leaving. That's the whole point. Yeah, yeah. Right? So it's just like, so if they're going to leave, mm-hmm. I guess it's okay. Like, know? I can go now because Mike has to, or well, sorry, Well, uh, he even says. Ro has the, to. Like, one of the last yeah. lines of the film is like, she had me the minute I laid eyes on her. Yeah. Like, from that the, moment the, in the, the moment classroom. The class walked in the yeah. classroom, she had me. And then, you know, we find, we get one more cut back to them as teenagers. Dancing. Um, they're, they're outside. Yeah, yeah. And they're like, they're just, they're having a conversation of like, we're never going to, you know, get married or any of this shit. It's just like, you know, we, oh, we have Mackin our time with the Liz and then we hang out with the boys. So it's Mackin, hanging, Mackin, hanging. He's like, what did we know? We were idiots. Yeah. And it's, it's true. And that's where. I think that's most boy groups have just evolved. Pretty much. Like, yeah. I'm like, we're just going to be like this forever. Yeah. And, and then you become adults and you don't like, see each other months at a time. Pretty much. <laughs> yes. That's how it goes. Um, to be fair, I don't talk to anyone i went to high school with no not a God, single no. one i think i talked to like one person I, I and if that the one person that i used to talk to i haven't spoken to in about four years yeah so, so there you go no more no macking and hanging here nope um and that's the wood yeah it's a it's pretty cut and dry man yeah. like it's, it's there's no real no so i get why movies like because it's it's movies like this that go like super under the radar mm-hmm. no one really like it has its fans of course like people who watch it like yourself yep but there's tons of movies like this where just like it's just a simple movie. Like there's no mm-hmm. real conflict. There's no good guys. There's no bad guys. It just tells a simple story. Gets mm-hmm. in. It gets out. Done. Yeah. You know. Mm-hmm. Makes uh you know you make it for five bucks and you make fucking money on. Pretty it. much yeah. That's um, how it, that's the thing it is yeah. So I'm gonna give it eight, Mackin and then hanging <laughs> out of ten. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, this was your mm-hmm. pick as mm-hmm. in like. And I enjoyed this way more yeah. than you enjoyed my pick, quote unquote, last year with Meteor Man. Yeah, yeah. You know, that was my, like, I only know, I'm the only one who knows this movie here. Yeah. And you're like, yeah. no. Yeah, well, <laughs> At I least mean, this time, yeah. you go, I know this movie and only I <laughs> here. And I'm not like, no. I'm like, oh, okay. To be fair, I did pick the 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 single, like, it's kind of hard not to like this movie. It's, it's a like little it's too. Like, it's the most harmless yeah, movie. Yeah, and it's a little too charming to dislike it. Yeah, and yeah. And I think that's what it is. It's one of those movies where you're like, how can you not? Yeah. Like even you if don't you, have to like no, love you it, don't have to love but, it, but like you were like yeah, it was fun. Like you you don't want your hour and forty five minutes back. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. And that's what this would absolutely be. Um, with that being said, though, I I will actually give it uh, nine tic tacs out of ten because I fucking love this movie. Yeah. Um, like I said, I discovered it on uh, cable. I just happened to be flipping a channel and it was starting. Um, and I, I dug the song. That's what it, I really liked that song. Oh, right at the beginning. Yeah. So I was listening to the song, whatever. And I was like, you know, I'm like, Oh, there's, um, all these actors I've seen, you know, um, Omar Epps, all these people. I'm like, oh, I fucking know these people. Like, let's see what this is. And once it went back to the eighties mm-hmm. and it was like, what I was like, Oh shit, this is, you know, again, like even, even back then, even like when I was like, uh, I think when I first saw this, I was probably about 1920. I was still into that kind of shit. So I was like, all right, let's check this out. And didn't stop watching it. 
and I loved it. And then I ended up buying it on VHS um, because I worked in a video store at the time. So I was like, oh, hey, can we get the? Oh, we have it over there, huh? Oh, and it's discounted because nobody wanted it. So it was like it was the rental copy that they would sell off. Like when they were because when you get a rental, here's how rent video stores work, kids. When you would get a, a rental, even a bigger movie, even like this, this would have been a somewhat of a bigger title. You would get like six or seven copies. But when it's when it uh, when you're making room for another title, you shrink it down and then you sell off the other ones, right? Because you only need like one, maybe two copies. So the other ones get sold for like twelve bucks. Mm. This happened to be in our discount bin, and I also got a discount on top of that. So I was like, I think I got it for like six bucks. I'm like, fuck yeah! So I got that, and then I eventually bought the DVD. And that's probably as far as it's going to go. Yeah, I don't think a Blu-ray is happening. I did watch it on my DVD copy. You can copy, get it digitally so You can, well. yeah. You can get it on I, YouTube or, you or know, PlayStation or whatever. You know, some of those are, iTunes. considering how cheap some of these are on YouTube, I might consider buying it on it. Just be like, here's the digital streaming copy so I don't have to fucking Do dig that. out my DVD. But even that's not likely. No. But yeah, simple film. Mm-hmm. Uh, MV, MVP is going to be Stacy. Of course, because um, I love that character. I've loved him from the fucking second I saw him. It's that convenience store where it's just like it's a robbery and it's serious. Yeah. You motherfuckers want something? Like, <laughs> yeah. Where it becomes they like a casual with, conversation. They go to school and, like, with my sister, man. It, like, you know, and then the whole like, come on, I'll give you a ride. Yeah. Like, and then, like his dad. <laughs> yeah. Um, and and like the the whole prophetic thing of like I'm gonna make a song about doing about smoking weed. He's like, weed's universal, man. Name me one race that don't smoke weed. And I'm like, he's a fucking prophet. Um, I I love me some Stacy. He's awesome. And I actually have... I can't believe I found out about Stacy being in that other movie and I still haven't seen it. I'm yeah. going to have to do that. Um, I, again, I don't know what, the length of the role or how... I don't care. If, I He's only need, in this movie like a handful of Yeah, I need more Stacy. So, we go from a simple movie mm-hmm. to a rather ridiculous movie. Again, more... Rather of, ridiculous. It is completely ridiculous. More of our speed here. Yeah. Uh, we do continue Black History Month mm-hmm. by going way back to um, January 11th, 1989... For the black exploitation parody comedy, mm-hmm. I'm gonna get you, sucker. Yep. Uh, so yes, um, <laughs> this is this is going to be more bombastic, more <laughs> out there, more ridiculous, more our speed. Like I said, um, a movie that we kind of just randomly picked. Yeah, uh, I, we I were, literally we were looking for titles and yeah, I was looking for something because we talked about another movie that I'm not gonna say because I know we'll get to it at some point, and I was like, ah, should I just do that? Because it just seems like that's so easy because we can. It's easy to find. I'm like, let's find something different. And I randomly typed in something. I can't remember what it was. But I randomly typed in something, and this was the first thing that came up. I'm like, how have we not even thought about this? The hell is wrong with us? Because it's one of those movies where you're like, well, the way we structure our show, for the most part, in the, you know, six (laughs) episodes, is, yeah, this is right down our end. Yeah. It completely is, and I don't know how neither one of us even thought about it in the last sixty nine. Because by the way, sixty nine, nice. Um, we have not we have not discussed this movie once until I brought it up. Yeah, and I'm not sure how that was physically possible. Yeah, so, so. we're gonna get there next week. So for this week, mm-hmm. we're gonna get out of here. You were yeah, Steve. You were Justin, and we're way back and gone. Y'all want something?